Dallas doesn't see a ton of flooding, not anything like we see, so, you know, they're dealing with it now, though. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, as we move throughout the rest of the week, different parts of Texas are going to get mm -hmm. severe weather. Different parts of Texas are going to see street flooding, and at times, it's going to focus on us. And so right now, for some of us, for our ride home work, really disruptive, and it's going to be rough with the lightning and the heavy rain. It potentially could get a little worse with some damaging winds, too. So let me show you what's going on. We will and, and with, uh, I don't want to stop you. We, uh, we did want to have some breaking news to some ground stops uh, out there at Hobby Airport because of yeah, the weather. Yeah, because of the lightning. Yeah. Yes, so we yeah. had the lightning, so, we had a bush intercontinental, and now it's moved off to the south. So uh, let's go ahead and show you what it looks like outside. So you can see here at the station, we're dry. Mm -hmm. Off in the distance, you can see how dark it gets as you get closer to the ground, and that's because of what you're seeing on our live storm tracker 2 radar. And so uh, these are the clusters of thunderstorms. And so uh, as Keith was mentioning right here, uh, this is where we have the heavy rain. And so we could give you an idea of Kingwood. Uh, Hobby Airport's going to be right at the bottom of this, but let me zoom in just a little bit from Kingwood into Mont Bellevue. And what you've got is the motion here. Look at how this is diving off to the southeast and it's got 140 lightning strikes and, and they're not uh, tremendously close to Hobby Airport, but they're close enough. It's going to cause some problems as it skirts on by that area. The other thing we're watching here is what's going on as these storms are now moving into a stagecoach in Cyprus, uh, a cluster of thunderstorms that's going to be diving off to Brookshire and then also Katy Belleville with some heavy rain and the lightning here 227 in just the past couple of minutes. So there are two areas of clusters of thunderstorms that are really Really going to be disruptive. I'll just give you an idea of what's happening here uh, for that ride home from work. It's not all of us, but if you're in these areas or off to the southeast of these where they're headed, it's going to be really problematic for that ride home from work. And the issue really is this frontal boundary because that's going to be around for the next couple of days. As we were just talking about with Keith, the, the flooding in Dallas, they received anywhere from two to six inches of rain over the past uh, 24 hours. When you look at what we got this morning, a good soaking. Now this is good for the drought. It helps with temperatures. It keeps temperatures out of the upper 90s. The hottest day of the year was yesterday at 98 degrees. So we're in the lower 90s right now because of the rain we received this morning. So here's the thunderstorms right now. As we move forward hour by hour through six o'clock all the way through nine, these storms are just going to simply line up along I-10 and cause a lot of problems throughout the rest of the evening. They die out tonight, but we got another round tomorrow. It looks like the timing's different, so nothing really expected organized tomorrow morning. But once we get to noon, we're starting to see some strong thunderstorms move back into southeast Texas. Two o'clock, they're here in the Houston area, off along our coastal cities, and it moves out. So tomorrow looks like it's more confined to the afternoon. Wednesday, it's back in the morning time. It starts to move, be a little more numerous at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then there's a little more as we head toward lunchtime. So it's going to be a, a busy couple of days. So here's the severe weather risk for tomorrow for hay and also damaging winds. It's a low threat with a higher threat off in West Texas. When you look at the street flooding threat, a higher threat off to the west of us from Wharton all the way out through Galveston up to the north. We have a st street flood threat for tomorrow. So just a big heads up for tomorrow because that's just the beginning. What we had today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way into Friday. I don't see our weather pattern change very much until we get to Saturday and Sunday where the pattern becomes a little more hit and miss, but organized thunderstorms with severe weather and flooding potential for the next several days.